You're watching CBS 47 Action News at 5.30. Coverage you can count on. Locals are pushing to get a drug to fight multiple sclerosis approved here in the United States. It's proven effective in other countries, but right now it's not legal here. Action News' Jamie Smith shows us the new fight and how it helps. Diagnosed with multiple sclerosis nine years ago, Buddy Allen's been holding out hope for an IV drug that MS patients around the world are using with tremendous success. I'm just waiting for it to, to be approved by the FDA and it, uh, that it wasn't. That news of the FDA rejecting Lemtrada a few months ago shocked his neurologist who took part in the clinical trials at his Ponte Vedra office. We don't have a cure for MS yet, but this was the closest thing that we have to a cure. And now we don't have it. Hundreds of thousands of American MS patients don't have it either. But patients like Buddy could still get it if they travel to places like Canada or Europe. But traveling between rooms is hard enough for Buddy. Flying to a foreign land is another story. It would be nice, but I don't have any idea how their medicine or insurance works. I have no idea how I would pay for it. His doctor has more than monetary concerns. And that's frightening that people may travel to other parts, not have laboratory monitoring, they might get infections, there might be other issues that arise. This 51-year-old had his own issues, just arising himself each morning. Problems his doctor says Lemtrada could alleviate. I would get up in the morning, be able to walk with my wife, you know, hold her hand, be able to do all kinds of great things that like no old people would do. He and his doctor believe Lemtrada is his best hope. The FDA will not discuss why it rejected Lemtrada back in November because the agency does not discuss drugs that are currently under review, which it is again. The FDA has allowed Lemtrada to be resubmitted for review. Doctors said it's a good sign for the drug's chances of approval and a good sign for patients as well. I'm Jamie Smith, CBS 47. Action News. It's estimated that more than 2 million people suffer from MS around the world. We'll let you know when the FDA decides on a second application on Lemtrada.